my channel I'm Stephanie if you are new here today we are going to be making macaroni and cheese in the air fryer if you guys hear a lot of noise today we have all the kids all around and we got Evelyn over there she's talking away eating her noodles and I have kids playing over there so yeah so we'll see how this video turns out today. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys have tried macaroni and cheese in the air fryer. Um, we have tried macaroni and cheese in the InSpot and we like it. So we're gonna give this a shot today and see if we like it in the air fryer. So what I did first of all to get started is I went ahead and made up my noodles just so that they are just about done. You do not want them fully cooked for this recipe just because we are going to be adding some more liquids and stuff to the recipe and then that's just going to make the noodles overcooked and we don't want to do that. So right now I have everything behind me. I have my cooked noodles. I also have the container that we're going to be using to put in the air fryer. Um, if you guys are interested, I have a link down below for you guys to get accessory kits for your air fryer. Um, I think I have two different ones down there. I also have like a silicone mat that you can put your hot pan on after you are done cooking. So I have that up there. I have bacon bits. We're going to be adding bacon bits today um, to the macaroni and cheese just my measuring cups we're going to be spraying down the pan today i got some chicken broth some mozzarella some medium cheddar some cream cheese and um our butter i also have our milk right here and then the two seasonings that we are going to be adding um to the macaroni dish today All right, I told you this is gonna be a busy one today because we got some noisy kids in the background. What you want to do first is take your, it's gonna be a lot of interruptions. We are gonna take our four tablespoons of butter. You're gonna to wanna to cut up some cream cheese and you're gonna want four tablespoons also of the cream cheese. So, and my cutting board here. All right. So, uh, let's see. I'm just gonna kind of guess here on how much I want to use. I'm kind of just gonna go off what we already have um, for with our butter. So, I'm just gonna take less than half of um, what's in the package. So maybe like a quarter or so would work. I'm gonna put that right in there. Um, we are going to be adding our two cups of milk. Here, let's see if I can get you in a little bit closer here. Okay, we're gonna be adding two cups of milk. We're going to be adding one cup of the chicken broth. We are going to microwave this for three to four minutes. While we cook that down, we are going to be adding our noodles to our pan, but you are going to want to spray your pan down so nothing sticks. And I'm going to add enough noodles maybe like halfway 
because I want to be able to have room for um, the mixture that we just put in the microwave. So I'm going to add about that much. It's a little, maybe a little more than half way in there. When you're heating up the milk mixture and the butter and the cream cheese, you don't want to overheat it. You just want it to be able to melt the butter and the cream cheese. You don't want to burn it, so just keep an eye on it. Okay, so now that my mixture is already melted, I am going to add my noodles to my mixture, mix them up, put them back in my pan, and then I will share with you guys uh, the temperature that I'm using to cook these today. Okay, now that that is all mixed in, I am going to be adding some salt and pepper. And you can add more to taste later when it is fully cooked. So right now I'm just gonna add just a little bit to it. And I'll leave the recipe down below so you guys know the exact like measurement. Um, a little bit of cayenne, a little bit of paprika. Uh, I'm gonna add, it asks for like a cup of cheese, mozzarella. So I'm only gonna put a little bit in right now and then halfway through our cook time, we're gonna add some more. And I'm also going to add the bacon bits a little bit later also. So I'm just going to do a partial um, partial bake for right now and then we'll add a little bit more later. So I'm going to mix this up. And then I'm going to carefully put this in here. If you guys need like alternate uh, or substitutes and different things that you guys um, use for people that have that can't have milk or cheese or stuff like that, you guys could change it up a bit, I guess, to what you guys need. Um, I don't. Our family doesn't have any of that right now. I have one child that can't have milk. Um, but if it's like cooked in like this, that's not really an issue. Um, but I'm sure that you can make this in a different way with using maybe like an unsweetened almond milk instead. And then as for like your cheeses, if you don't have allergies to the cheeses, um, then go ahead and use that. But otherwise, if you want, you could probably um, use your substitutes that you already are using. I'm just going to leave that here. The meals that I make in my air fryer are meals that I want to cook up quick for my kids and it might just be like a quick lunch meal or a supper meal or something like that but um, for us and our family, usually I'll use our oven for like our bigger supper meals, but a lot of times I just use the air fryer for quick lunches. Um, that's pretty much why I do the videos is for moms that need like quick meals or families that just maybe have a husband and wife and you guys don't want to cook um, a full meal. You're able to just use your air fryer and get that meal out of there. Um, the size that I'm making right now today, this could feed two people. Um, this will just be kind of like a little treat for my kids. And then we also are making lunch in the oven as we speak. So um, I don't think like I'm making these small portions and it's going to feed your large family. I'm just doing this for um, you guys for a reference on how to use your air fryer. And I know a lot of people that I've talked to recently, I've kind of talked to them about me making air fryer videos. And a lot of them are like, you know, I bought one, I don't like it, I'm not using it enough. I just don't find enough recipes. So I've been trying to share with other people the recipes that I've been using, that it's not that complicated. And I don't know if a lot of you guys know, I mentioned in some of my other videos, I'm not really into hard cooking meals. 
So using our air fryer, it has been a true blessing to me and my kids. Um, my kids can pop in some, uh, what are they, pretzels and breaded pretzels and stuff like that. So we've been using it for that and other quick things um, in here. Another fun one that would be fun, and I don't know if I can get like an, I don't know if I can get an accessory for this, but we eat waffles like almost every morning. And I'm wondering if I could do waffles in the air fryer. So if you guys have already tried that, please leave me a comment down below because that would be super cool. Otherwise, I'll try to look on Amazon and see if I can find like a waffle maker or something that I can put in my air fryer. But now that I have this all mixed together, let's go ahead and place it in our air fryer. You don't need to do anything special today with uh, spraying down your air fryer i still have my removable tray in here that's gonna stay in here great so i am going to be placing this in my air fryer another thing that you're gonna want to do is cover it with foil i've made omelets in here before and we've had an issue where when the eggs were put in there they kind of flew all over the place a little bit so if you guys just put a little piece of foil around that'll keep all that in there. And then another um, reason why you're gonna wanna put your foil on today is because you have your liquids and your noodles and you want your liquid or your noodles to uh, soak up what you have in there. So that's another reason why we're gonna be covering. It'll cook much faster with your uh, foil. I do also want to point out that I did have someone comment on not, maybe not, a, that it's not a good idea maybe to put foil in your air fryer. If you're not um, moving it around, scraping it around, I think it's going to be fine because you are going to be using metal pans and things in here. So I don't really find that that's going to be an issue. Um, so just go ahead and cover your um macaroni i'm going to set the air fryer for 400 we are going to be cooking it for 20 minutes i'm going to check it halfway through so about 10 minutes i'm going to check see how it's doing mix it up a little bit uh cook it a little bit longer then we're gonna stop it again add some more cheese add our bacon and cook it the rest of the way. So my 10 minutes is up. I'm gonna check everything to see how things are going. So that's what that looks like. I'm going to be adding more of the cheddar cheese, some more mozzarella. And we'll add more later too. I'm going to add some bacon bits. And I just did a handful. I'll mix that up a little bit. We're going to want to cover that again. Heavy. We're gonna. Just be careful. I'm gonna set it again for 400 because when I shut it off, I um shut it off all the way. So I'm gonna bring it to the 10 minutes, cook that up, see how it's gonna go, and then we might have to cook it for a little bit longer. Um, all together, I think it was like 30, 35 minutes. So we're just gonna start out with 20. We don't want to overcook. I told you guys in the last video that you need to watch your air fryer. Um, make sure you guys are comfortable with the timing on your air fryer so that you don't overcook things. Um, but I'm just going to check it in 10 minutes. It's already starting to um, like cook into the noodles. So it's looking pretty good. And then the amount of cheese and stuff you want to add to the air fryer or to the macaroni is totally up to you on how you like that. Um, we probably will add some more salt and pepper to it just for taste. 
um, but we're just gonna see how this turns out right now. Another thing that you could add to your macaroni and cheese is um, like a bread crumble or um, something else that you wanna add on top. You could do salsa on top when you, when everything is done and cooked. You could add some sriracha. I'm trying to think of some other toppings that you might wanna add to that, sour cream and stuff like that. So play around with your macaroni. Um, this is the first time I added bacon to it, so I'm just gonna see how the kids like it. Um, but let's just cook this down and then we'll check it in a little while. Okay, so Evelyn wanted to say hi today. Wanna to say hi? Hi everybody! So we're just waiting for this to cook up. We got one more minute, right? Yeah, she's already eating some fish crackers and stuff. A lot of times with my air fryer videos, I try not to include the kids because I want you guys to not be distracted by all the distractions. But today we made an exception to some of them, right? You're cooking, yeah, we're cooking. We're almost done. It's almost done, now we gotta mix it up. Yep. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. Can you tell everybody, say it, I'm excited. Yay. Okay, well, it's almost finished, so we're just gonna let this finish up and then mix it up and then see if we're gonna add some more cheese or not. So we'll see how cheesy it is right now. It did ask for one cup of mozzarella and two cups of the uh, cheddar cheese. Um, I think you can add whatever type of cheese that you guys like or prefer. You could do Parmesan on top and whatever. I don't know. Um, thumbs up? Yeah. Say give mom a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay. So we're finished. I'm going to put her down. We're going to mix it up and we're going to see how this thing turned out. Okay, so I'm going to pull this out and see if we need to cook it any longer. One, two, three, four. Okay, at this time you guys are going to really want to mix it up just to make sure that you don't need to add or to see if you wanna add more cheese. So right now I'm just kind of mixing in that cream cheese right now. You guys could use heavy whipping cream instead if you don't wanna use the cream cheese. But I wanted to try it out with the cream cheese this time. Okay, I'm gonna add the rest of the bag of the cheddar cheese. I'm gonna add some more, just a little bit of the mozzarella and a little bit more um, bacon bits also. You are gonna have it like overflow in there, but that's okay. That's why you have that removable tray in there too that makes it easier. So, so far I cooked it for 20 minutes. I'm gonna cook it for another 10 more minutes. I put it at 400 degrees and um, actually I'm gonna keep it at 15 minutes. I'm gonna check it in like 10 minutes um, but all together that'll be 35 minutes. So I think then, sorry, what? So I think then it should be finished, but we'll check it in 10 more minutes. And I'm going to, yeah, it has pockets. I'm gonna mix it up and get everything mixed together. I think it's in the living room. Okay, so I'm gonna plate this up. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna tap it with some cheese. So tap it with some cheese. I'm just gonna tap it with a little bit of bacon bits on top. And I'll show you guys what it looks like up close. So it turned out pretty good. And like I said before, add some salt and pepper if you wanna add some for uh, taste. So kind of just play around with the recipe and see how you guys like it. Um, other than that guys, hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.